Multi-award winning artist Che Ronfest Smith hosted this year's Black History Month special titled Black History The Movement. The special highlights the diverse cultures in the black community and focuses on telling stories on the importance of knowing one's identity and the fight for freedom. Che stopped at the Haitian American Museum of Chicago and learned about Jean Baptiste Point du Sabo and the immigration issues they are currently dealing with. One of the major contributions that we Haitians have contributed to Chicago is Jean-Baptiste Pointe du Sabre. Du Sabre came to Chicago from Haiti and settled here as the first resident and is documented as being the first resident that founded Chicago and married one of the natives here in Chicago. Can you tell us a little bit about his journey to Chicago and how he settled and helped to develop this as a city that we, we now know? He was a businessman, a fur trader. Haiti was not free then. It was under the French colonies. So he was able to come and start trading. So he actually did develop some economic development in Chicago. As we look at the immigration policies of America today, let us know a little bit about the Haitian contribution to our country. The community has been truly hurt. Part of the um, immigration laws currently under the current president is with the individual with temporary status that came during the big earthquake 2010. So they gave the opportunity to come and, and, and live here and have contributed a great deal. So it does affect the community quite a bit, not only the Haitian community, but also the United States community, because these individuals had permit to work and have contributed it to the tax paying abilities and have contributed it to the employers here in the United States, as well as contributing to their fellow Haitians in Haiti that are continuing to suffer. The Haitian American Museum of Chicago is located in Sheridan Park at 4654 North Racine. And here's a fun little fact. Racine in Creole means roots. It's symbolic to the museum because they said they settled their roots in this building where they are able to share their culture. You can watch the rest of the interview on February 25th at 1230 right here on The U.